story is the story of fighting yourself, of fighting who you are and, and wishing you were something else. And it's your mind trying to draw the picture or write the biography. But your mind has, is such a tiny little slit of your being. And what you are is so much more vast and so much more ancient and eternal. I remember getting off at St. George Station and uh, carrying my books with me and walking down there and going to the class. And I remember hearing all of the uh, opera students and the clarinets and the piano pieces flowing out of the windows and all mixing together and thinking to myself, this is amazing. I'm in the big city. Music is everywhere. I think the conservatory was helpful in showing me that I wasn't going to be an athlete of an instrument. My place was most definitely in writing music and most definitely using text with music. I felt like they looked down their nose at, at music that wasn't along this very traditional path, that this is serious music, whereas, you know, songwriters in, in dirty bars are, you know, that's kind of not really music. I feel like my mind was wanting me to, to be worthy of the respect of the academics and the concert pianists I knew, but my being and who I am and have always been wanted only to just make things, to make, to make, to make. All this music was inside me, and I would be spending hours on my Bach cantatas. To me, the Rivoli was the place that I wanted to play, and I knew that pretty early on. Uh, we'd look through the listings at the Rivoli and there were always songwriters and indie singers that I, you know, wanted to be like. Places like the Rivoli were a um, training ground to learn how to be on stage. You learn how to deal with an audience, you learned how to deal with hecklers, and even the variety of stage banter and stage persona and all of those things. I don't think it's really conscious, you're just picking up those things and using what feels right for you and then it, it evolves. And uh, at 17, I started playing my own shows here. And I got to the point where I felt like I was among friends instead of in front of judging eyes trying to prove myself. Get home, get home. I saw in Mia Sheard and Ron Sexsmith and all of these people what I wanted to be, a creator. I wanted to be, to be giving birth to things, bringing music into the world, not honing my chops. Mr. Masquerade Getting good at this charade Go on, fool yourself with talk of poetry but Don't you dare What I took from the classical world was the knowledge, the language. You can write it down, put it in front of a musician who doesn't know you, and blah, 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 there they go, playing your music, right? To me, that is the key. That was the key I wanted from classical music and from academic instruction, and the rest I didn't want, I didn't need for my project. I, I consider classical music and the songs I write, it's the same thing, it's music. We're using the same system, it's the same beautiful math, right? It's that elegant physics. That is music. You gotta follow your heart. You can make yourself miserable for years thinking that you know what that is, but that's just the thing. To follow your heart has nothing to do with thinking. It has nothing to do with your brain. You go through this fire to sort of be purified by it, to, to have all of the, the excess and all of the lies you tell yourself. You have to have them be burnt away. And then, you know, there's the marrow of you, the quick of it, the, the diamond and the coal.